Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's Friday morning, and it, for some reason, feels like the Mondayest Friday ever. <laughs> Friday is another one of our busy days. We have three therapies scheduled for today. Luckily, everybody got some good rest last night, thankfully, because if you recall, yesterday my son woke up at five. So I was hopeful that he would go to bed relatively early and relatively easily. And I was right, luckily. But the worry with that is always, what if he wakes up super early or wakes up in the middle of the night for whatever reason? And again, pretty luckily, neither of those things happened. He woke up at a decent hour, so everybody got to rest up. Anyways, it is Friday. We gotta start our therapy soon. So I'm going to get my kiddo dressed, get him fed, and get our day started. I'm not sure what's going on, but we came outside and there's a bag of food that someone delivered. We didn't order anything, so um, good morning to us. Hope for a receipt so we can see if it's a legit purchase or not. See if it's poison. That too. Oh, Luna macatico. <laughs> Rice with um, <laughs> una arepa, no? Una yeah. arepita. <laughs> Tomatoes. Pollito. Una tajada y un plat, una papa. Where the hell did this come from? Well, mondongos, apparently. Mondongos. <laughs> Obviously, it's really a legit Colombian person because they got a Colombia something. Ooh, and a tres leche. Cuatro leche. So it's just un pollito. Tremendo lunch. Congratulations, mom, because nobody else can eat no, this. No, that's from my job. Oh, that's the lunch that they bought that's you. That's the lunch that they bought us. Oh, see, we're thinking it's a crazy surprise. Okay, oh, well. man, they should have asked me. I would have asked for Mondongo. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery solved. So much for the intrigue, but... <laughs> so we just got some theme park news. Apparently, Halloween Horror Nights is canceled this year. There's been a lot of buzz around the theme park community in the last week or so because this is usually around the time of year where they would start bringing out spoilers about what kind of haunted houses there's going to be and people start selling their tickets. Actually, I think the tickets have been on sale. I think tickets were on sale already for this event. So I don't know if they're going to be refunding people. Maybe I've just completely pulled that out of thin air and that's not the case at all, but that was my understanding. Point is, it's official, Halloween Horror Nights is not happening this year. So we've been saying for ages, stay inside, stay home if you can, wear your masks, etc., etc., because y'all are gonna go and get Halloween canceled. And you did it. Not that I would ever go to Halloween Horror Nights because I am 100% way too gutless for that, but Halloween is the best and I actually really love watching other people's vlogs on Halloween Horror Nights. So it really is disappointing. It's a big bummer. Who knows what else is going to end up getting canceled now? If only y'all had worn your masks. Hello friends, it is Saturday and it is past 4 p.m. I'd love to be able to say, I don't know how the day got away from me, but the thing is I know exactly how the day got away from me. I have a giant to-do list, including like five videos that I was intending to record for you guys today. But then I remembered that The Sims is a thing, and so I decided I don't think I wanna do anything but play The Sims today. And I also decided I'm an adult and I have the ability to make those choices. So that is a choice that I am going to make. Will I regret it? Perhaps. I am free to make my choices, but I am not free from the consequences of those choices. But for right now, suffice it to say that I've had a lovely day playing The Sims for hours and hours and hours. It would have been nicer if it was like uninterrupted, but I'm a mom, I can only ask for so much. Anyways, I thought it was about time to put my Sims away for now and rejoin the real unsimulated world. That's what they tell us anyway. I'm kidding. Or am I? Anyways, it's dinner, lunch time, I don't know, late lunch, early dinner, and my mom's been cooking all day, so I might uh, go and feast a little bit now. And it is late in the day, but I guess let's see what all we can find to get ourselves into, right? One of the things I really wanted to do today was use that new Lush face mask. I think it's called Beauty Sleep. I unboxed the second kitchen subscription box on my channel a couple days ago, for me anyway. Uh, it might be a little later for you, but I'll post a link up here in case you haven't seen it. 
The thing is, like I mentioned in that video, I have very sensitive skin and I don't know how my face is going to react to a new mask. And also, like I mentioned just a little bit ago, I have a lot of videos that I want to record. And so the last thing I want is to put on this mask and like break out or get a rash or who knows what else my face might decide to do and then have to record those videos. So the responsible thing to do would be to do the videos first and then do the mask. But I don't know if I'm necessarily known for being responsible. We'll see. Aha. Right, <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Yes. True. Ding 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 ding. Uh oh. It's ten thirty in the morning. And my son decided that directly after breakfast, we should go for a swim. So that is, I guess, what we're up to right now. A proper good morning, folks. It is Sunday and I had a lot of stuff on my to-do list yesterday that I decided to put off, which means that today's to-do list is that much longer. I'm pretty sure I said yesterday, I don't regret taking the time off when I want to take time off, especially because wanting to and being able to rarely overlap. But I do wish that I'd planned things out a little better. So like maybe on Saturday, I could have done all the things. And then for example, today I could have taken a break knowing that everything's handled for the week and I have nothing plaguing me or waiting for me tomorrow. Well, nothing more than like the usual stuff, you know what I mean? But alas, I did not plan it out that way. And so today is going to be busy, but that's fine. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it happen. I'm getting these videos out for you guys and I'm going to have fun doing it. So let's get going. I'm on my phone right now because I'm using the card from the camera to export all the videos that I just recorded, but I am done recording for the day as far as the videos for the week. <laughs> I'm wearing one of the blouses that I unboxed recently in my Shein unboxing or haul, so I'll post a link to that up here in case you guys want to see that and you've missed it. My husband says I look like a lion tamer, but I think he's wrong. And even if he's right, it's kind of a vibe. So you know what? I'll take it. Lion tamer chic. All right, friends. So I'm procrastinating in a major way. I need to edit my plan with me so that it can go live tomorrow. But I did say yesterday earlier in the video for you guys that i wanted to try the new face mask and i hadn't yet because i needed to record a bunch of videos and i didn't want to i don't know look like a swollen thumb or something in case this goes wrong uh, but i'm done recording for the week well except for this but you guys have seen me at my worst i'll uh, i'll direct you up here in case you don't know what i'm talking about but yeah i think it is time to try out this beauty sleep here. Question is, how much of it do I need? Doesn't say. Okay. Cool. <laughs> doesn't say how much to use. It doesn't say how long to leave it on for. Um, all right. <laughs> Let's do it, right? So I kept it on for like 10 minutes and it's been about an hour and my skin feels very, very moisturized. Um, doesn't feel like anything terrible is gonna happen, but I might wake up tomorrow with like a unicorn horn, so who knows? I do really, really love the smell though. Just based on the smell, I would use that every single day. But considering I don't know what it's gonna do to my skin, I don't use skin things every day anyway. And that is both very hard to find and probably really expensive to replace. That's fine. I'll just use it every once in a while. So I'm obviously super, super glamorous, sorting laundry right now. And it's going to be dinner time soon for my son. So I'm going to make him his food. But we're just kind of winding down for bed already. It's dark out. It feels like the day's gone on a really, really long time somehow. Maybe it's because I've been busy since I woke up. But it's just been a long day. Luckily, everybody's been sleeping well. I shouldn't have even said that out loud because now I'm going to go and jinx it. But 
I'm rested and everything. It's just I've been going, going, going for a long, long time. And so the day feels much longer than it should. Anyways, I'm gonna feed the kiddo, gonna finish this laundry, and then it's not much left in the day. So let's see if I'm able to come up with something else in the meantime or what. Look how exciting! I planted the cilantro last weekend, I think. I didn't even bother showing you guys because cilantro is supposed to be very hardy, but it never sprouts for me. But it's sprouting! Now that I've shown it to you, it will undoubtedly die, like overnight or something. But let the evidence show. Oh, hello, little ant. Let the evidence show that at least for right now, it showed some semblance of life. All right, friends, the weekend is winding down, and so I'm gonna go ahead and wind down the video. I started something very exciting today. I'm very excited about it anyways, and I'm feeling very hopeful about it, but I did not want to talk about it in this video because it's a little bit of a spoiler for an upcoming video. However, this video that I'm recording today, Sunday, is gonna go up on Tuesday. The COVID diary episode that I begin tomorrow is not going to go up until Saturday, maybe? And the video that I'm worried about spoiling comes out on Friday, which means that even though you guys aren't going to get to see it until Friday or Saturday, I'm going to get to talk about it tomorrow, which is very exciting for me. What is happening to my hair? I hope all of that made sense, except for the hair. I can't justify that. But in case it didn't, the point is subscribe, come back, and you'll see what all of this mystery is about. <laughs> Not much of note, I guess, happened this weekend, although I was extremely busy, but it was, you know, mom stuff, kiddo stuff. The kiddo is going through some stuff right now, some changes, I guess, mostly to do with his stimming behaviors and his OCD. I try not to get too far into that stuff on this channel because I feel, and I've said this before, that I'm not telling my own story when I say stuff like that. I'm telling someone else's and in order to maintain his privacy, I don't want to go into details. The allowance I guess I make for that is when those things affect my life, which that's kind of a very big gray area because he's my child. Of course, everything that happens to him affects me. But what I mean in this particular case is a lot of my time this weekend was taken up by mitigating stuff that my child is going through. So that's as far as I'm gonna go into that, but I am mentioning it because it explains why there wasn't a whole lot of footage this weekend. Although I say that every single episode and we know that these two tend to get a little long considering I never record anything. I guess we'll see when I'm editing <laughs> how much footage I actually got or not. Anyways, it has been a long weekend. It's been a long week. I was gonna say I'm ready for Monday, but who is ever really? I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, where's the weekend? Ready for the weekend, please. The week should be pretty busy as well, but I feel like everything that I need to do is going to get done. I feel properly organized and like planned out and motivated, which is the most important thing. So in that way, I am kind of looking forward to next week. What are you guys up to? What have you been up to? How was your weekend? Is there any particular project that you're trying to get handled this week? As always, I'd love to hear about it, so let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you all. I want to know how you're all doing. And, of course, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week, and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!